And hello folks, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Uh, we're doing great things here as young Rasimir works his way through the winter and uh, looks at spring coming, it should be tomorrow. Uh, let's do a quick check. It is 2118, 918 in the evening should be the last night of winter. Uh, you can see as you look at the map the yellow exclamation marks. Those include quests uh, that other villagers have for uh, our character, Rasimir. But I'm not worried about those. I'm focused really on the current quest, which is uh, one ordered by myself. Time for some hunting challenge. I've built the hunting lodge. Uh, I still need to hunt fox and boar. So I think I know where they are located um, as we found one each just uh, earlier in this day, the last day of winter. Uh, we're back at the house, the hacienda, and uh, I'm not going to eat or drink because I believe the turn of the season should replenish me. We will light the campfire. Uh, we'll do another check of what we have on us. Uh, meat, roasted meat, fresh meat, fur, leather, salt. Uh, we're going to use this salt to see about salting meat. We'll try that tomorrow uh, and then also finish our hunting quest. Uh, stench. <laughs> 24 percent uh, we need to dip in the the river uh, and clean up so our character certainly has some work ahead of him I'm checking to see where we stand in terms of 782 of a thousand uh, survival points all right we're, we're doing pretty good I'm happy to see that Crafting, 99 out of 250. We'll continue to craft, and uh, it's mostly crafting and cooking. We don't do any sewing or blacksmithing yet, but that's okay. And our technology is looking pretty good. We finally purchased a shovel. Uh, I don't believe I'm eligible to build a simple stick fence. I'm okay with that. These items, uh, the bow, I think we can buy the scheme for that now. Yes. Stack of 50 stone arrows. Ooh, the bird trap is going to come in handy. We're going to need that. Let's uh, purchase that. Excellent. 50 stone arrows. And the wooden campfire, a more durable campfire made of firewood only uh, for 30 gold pieces. Purchased. Fishing hut. Small fishing net. Trap for small fish. Uh, can be used up to three times. I think that's as early as we can fish. So we really want to get after hunting. We're near the river. I want to fish. And uh, that's, that's still a good ways away, technologically speaking. Even though I would argue, how hard is it to craft a net or a fish trap of some kind and, uh, and then catch fish? So we have, uh, we know we need to pay taxes. I believe it's in the summertime. So we're gonna want to craft some items, collect some resources so that we can sell them. We have 280 gold pieces. There's nothing here I feel like I need to buy at this moment. So I'm gonna save my money. Uh, the only thing is maybe that thread. Crafting resource can be crafted from flax stalk on spinning wheel and sewing. Maybe that thread. But for now, if we need thread, we're going to buy it. Yeah? So let's save our money and go to sleep.
New quest, pay taxes. Oi, well, we're gonna do that right away. Um, it is the first day of spring. We still have the Into the Wilderness quest, which is good. Pay taxes. Uh, we need to deliver to Unigost 135 gold coins. So we can go pay taxes immediately. But why pay taxes immediately when there are things we can craft and sell? Taxes are paid in coin. Every spring, you will need to pay taxes to Castellian, Castellan, in the central village of Gastovia. Taxes are charged for your buildings and fields. If you don't pay tax for last year, then the debt increases with interest. The following year, you will have to pay back both debt and the new tax. Current tax with the debt is visible in the management tab. Each subsequent season, you don't pay your debt. Your dynasty reputation will suffer until you exceed negative 10,000, at which point you will be exiled from the valley and your journey will end. Notice the tax man with crossed arms and a stern looking face. So we know we can pay taxes. We'll do it this season for sure. But uh, before we do it, we're gonna, we're just gonna put some things together that will help us. Flat bread's at 47%, that's okay. Nothing's at 25%, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna put some things together that will help us sell and make some money. Ah, oh, look at this, the lush. Look, and oh, they're back. They're back. The items on the ground. lush green the birds are chirping berries they're not ripe so we're not going to collect them rock let's pick this rock up we'll be able to do something with it shortly in here just a quick review we have nothing that's okay we have meat at 50%. Okay. Tin meat at 50%. We're going to cook it and see if it turns into roasted meat at 100%. Oh, by the way, look at that. Our uh, water and food replenished overnight because of the change of the season. That's a nice little trick. Let's cook. Oops, <laughs> not cauldron cooking. Uh, let's do it, except while we cook these nine remaining pieces of meat, I'll sit here, think about the fact that uh, every cooking action gives me skill points, which help increase the, uh, is it survival? skill set. I'm okay with that. I want to see uh, of this. Ooh, I probably should have checked to see what it takes to salt. I bet you you salt raw meat. All right, here's some raw meat. We're going to keep this. Let's transfer this over. It's at 75%. It lasted a season. Look at that. And roasted meat. We have six at 50%. 10 at 100. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the 10 we just did. Brilliant. So we have a way to extend the, uh, the lifespan of meat. Uh, but I'm going to take this raw meat and transfer it over because I want to see if I can salt it. Salt it. And I want to see how much I can salt with one. Broadleaf plantains, I've been doing really good. So let's transfer these sell uh, we're gonna we're gonna sell this we're gonna sell 25 of those all right uh, we might sell some fur let's transfer it we're going on a big hunting kick so I'm feeling good that leather three we're gonna transfer 
12, which will give us a total of 15. Um, so so uh, I think we'll get lots of fur and leather shortly. Sticks. Resource. Let's just look in here to see if there's anything we need to pay attention to. Log. Sticks. Rocks. Okay, so there's uh, a few tools we can make. I think... A shovel takes one log. So let's transfer the log over. Let's take uh, 10 rocks. I don't care. All right, 10 rocks is a bit excessive, but uh, and sticks. Let's take 100 is a bit much. Uh, but let's see if we can lower our burden. So 53, so we're not going anywhere fast. Look how slow, I cannot move. Let's see what happens if we craft a few things. Stone axe. Let's craft an axe. doesn't do much to my uh, burden. Let's craft a one log. A hammer is one log and one stick. Let's craft a wooden hoe. We'll just sell the, the hoe. I think it ever so slightly. I, it might be wishful thinking. Another axe. It looks like we can make a couple. I think we can make four. Let's accept that. All right, so it's not a shovel, but. All I need to do is be able to move. All right, can I move? Oh, so slow. What else? Uh, what else can we craft that I can take and sell? A bag? Three leather. I'm assuming the bag sells for more than the leather. So I'm going to take a chance and craft three bags. Uh, five bags. And the crafting is good for me. Good practice. All right. It's uh, reducing my burden. I think with what I'm about to take into town, I'll be able to more than make up the loss I'm going to take on taxes. And uh, I'll replenish much of this as I go hunting. Let's go. Quick save. Um, certainly not <laughs> super fast. But the village is just over there. What else can we do? There's nothing else we can craft. That's a little ridiculously slow, though. I was going to go mess with the salt. That will, uh, depending on how many pieces of meat I can salt, if I can salt any, um, that will help. And I'll put down any rocks. We're going to have to move faster than this to get to the village. I don't want to waste the whole day crawling to the village. Here's a barrel. Salting. Salted meat. So it just says meat. Okay, so it's raw meat. We're going to do one. And it salts it immediately. Okay. I don't know if that's worth it. If we mine it, yes, but at 20 gold pieces, that's better. At 20 gold pieces uh, per bit of salt, that's just too much. And I suspect, oops, I suspect we can put down, I just, it's one rock, 40 sticks. The weight is. 
here. The bags, the number of spears. We're going to sell everything. It's a slow pace. He's got a lot. It'd be nice if uh, he had a wheelbarrow, a cart. I saw in the uh, development discussion page, somebody was requesting a cart. I think this is why it makes sense. Uh, we are moving steadily and I'm content with that. We're going to want to build a bathtub as uh, I'd like to spend this year really cultivating relationships and, and start to bring people into my village. Uh, it doesn't have to be a wife first, but certainly people to, to come start working the buildings and the land. And, uh, and then certainly by the end of the year, is that uh, too aggressive? By the end of the year, I'd like to have a wife. So I suspect I'll need to build one more residence house, which will hold three people. Um, mine holds three people, but if I get a wife, then of course we would occupy the double bed, wouldn't we? And the single bed that I've been sleeping in and haven't changed the cloth, the hay, probably stinks to high heaven, would be free for somebody else. They'd love it. They'd have a roof over their head. And the windows with no screen, no way to close it. Imagine all the fresh air that, that blows through there. So I suspect it wouldn't really stink. Look at the size of that tree right there. I'm not going to chop it down. Uh, trees are necessary. These uh, small shrubs should grow into trees so the trees I believe will replenish I think we're seeing it happen uh, at a slow pace and that's okay carrying lots of stuff we're gonna go straight to Unigost let's uh, let's mark that journal let's keep that quest active so we can find our all right, exit, so we can find our, there he is, 65 meters away. He's within spitting distance. Some good people standing around the campfire. Get to work. 50 meters. All good villagers, I've helped some of them. I've insulted a few of them. I've flirted with one of them. And, uh, I have not impressed the tax man, the Castellan. I want to say Castilian, but I think it's Castellan. I'll have to look that up. I, I try to be particular with speaking properly, but that's one I'm going to have to look up. There he is, standing, arms crossed, waiting for money. But uh, we're nothing if we do not pay our debt, our due. Oi, Unigost. Here you go. Yep, yeah, well, no, I came to sell some stuff, but boom, splendid. In dialogue, don't go anywhere. Show me your wares. Oh, I wish I could get a bag for 200. Let's see how much my bag sells for. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six spears. I'm keeping them. We're going to go hunt. I'm not keeping them. We're going to sell them all. <laughs> I want the money. We can make more. Simple bag, 11. Really? You're going to sell a simple bag to me for 60? And uh, you're going to buy it from me for 11? You swine. But that's 55. 
Boom. Stone axe at 61%. You know what? We're going to sell these five axes. Wooden hammer. We're going to keep the hoe. Sell it. The shovel. Um, I'm thinking about selling it. I can always build another. Simple torch for four. I'm surprised I haven't used more of this torch. I'm going to sell this one. The fur boots. Oh, I can take the boots off. Oh, I'm going to be sweating and all that. The broadleaf plantains. I'll likely sell... Against my better judgment, I'm selling them. The meat, roasted meat at, uh, oh, you just want one? I'd rather consume it. Salted meat for five. So I paid 20 for the salt. Look at that nutrition. Nutrition's higher. I'm keeping that salted meat. Fur, tin fur. I'll sell the fur, I think. The rock and the sticks. St. John's work. Oh, all right. Ten, uh, just shy of 11 kilograms out of a 35 kilogram weight limit. Um, I have 451 gold coins. I feel good about that. With the exception of the fur items, which I need to take off, so I need to go back home. My biggest selling item seems to be the stone knife or the simple bag. Um, I'll go now. Goodbye. Ah, to be able to run. Out of the way, my friend. We've got some winter gear to take off and then uh, hunt. It looks like we might do a late afternoon or a night hunt. I think we'll hunt closer. So we're going to go into the woods that I'm looking at and see what's over there. Not worried about the unripe berries. Uh, we want to take off this stuff. I don't have a heat warning, so I'm not too hot wearing all this stuff but you know really do we need to no so fur hood transfer fur boots transfer and then we'll put the the shoes on the meat we can transfer all of it the salted meat we can transfer all right 451 gold coin. I, I like that. That makes me that makes me happy. Let's look at our character. We need to put shoes on. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, I don't remember. Equip. You have shoes. You have pants. You have uh, a stinky shirt. All right. Well, let's. Get out there. Uh, I don't know if I can build a bird trap yet. Can I? Yes, this is good. I'm going to need uh, two sticks and two rocks. All right. And you're thinking, well, gee, you just sold all that. There's one stick. There's two sticks. Recovered. Recovered my losses. It looks like there's a rock right there. I bet you there's another rock very close by. I see it. So I made money and uh, I did not significantly burden myself by uh, not having the resources to make what I wanted to make immediately. So let's craft a... Uh, oops, let's come over here. So this is a little silly, but I'm just going to put our bird trap next to the rabbit trap. Why? Well, because we can. And 
boom. Place it. Very simple. I want to try this. In real life, I want to try that to see if that simple rock stick thing works. Okay, um, I sold my spears. I'm going to need to arm myself. We're going into the woods over there. There's a big tree right over here. I see a stump or two over there. So we should get a number of spears. Ooh, mushrooms. There's our tree. Got seven sticks. A number of logs which will become spears. All right, don't roll away. Um, wow. So many different things. It's hard to tell if there are any feathers on the ground. I don't see any feathers. That's okay. Uh, these broadleaf plantains will be important in case I have a run-in feathers, mushroom, here we go, a run-in with uh, any animals that can give me a hard time, more feathers, more feathers, no, so I've done everything but pick up broadleaf plantain. There we go. Uh, typically need about 10. That will, uh, that'll do it. I'll get some more. I'm, I'm keen to get out and get hunting. Time to stop goofing off. Let's craft some spears, some uh, hunting implements. Soon will be a bow and arrow. Uh, we're gonna make four of those. We will have to equip those uh, into the quick slot, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna need some water. We're near the we're near the river. Wooden spear for... What was in here? That was the shovel, wasn't it? I think I sold it. Fine. Feathers, two feathers, several sticks. Alright, so we will uh, move over and get some water. Choke down a little bit of food and off on the hunt we go. Look at this. Just, I want to go for a swim. Don't you want to frolic in this water? I do. It looks great. Roasted meat, 50%. Let's consume some roasted meat. And uh, a moral mushroom plus one food. Done. It's been a while since we've been 100% across the board. That's a quick save. Let's go hunting. I got spoiled by the winter time where you could see a little distance. We're going to go into these woods just through this opening and then take a look around. Lots of mushrooms. We'll move uh, roughly parallel to the river and look for animals. Fox or boar 
to be precise. I wanted to follow that quest so I can do a quick look in the upper right portion of the screen to see uh, how well I'm doing. Let's go this way. I'm following the logic that kind of deeper into the woods, away from the bridges, the main paths, berry. It doesn't say, well, it can't be ripe. Unripe berry, I thought so. We'll be able to sell them, though. And I think it might help with dye. Now, I suspect, you know, I don't want to walk just bust out into the sunlight. I feel like staying in the shadows is a little bit wiser. I'm starting to kick myself for not having gone to a known hunting ground. One boar and one fox does not a hunting ground make. But I'm seeing nothing as I explore. Very keen to get out on the hunt. Nothing moving. Once I start to sense it's late afternoon, is that a deer? I will uh, start heading back. I see some movement. It's a buck or a stag. Not she's looking right at me. Um, these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. Not the focus of my hunt. I don't need meat, but leather and fur would come handy. Yep. He went away. That's okay. Let's go this way. I don't, I'm, I'm not for want of food. The leather, the fur, and the uh, objective animal is what I'm in want of. See another deer over there. We'll go for it. And then we'll work our way back harvesting. I said uh, a few episodes ago that uh, our young adventurer is clearly a better harvester than he is hunter. Uh, but through the act of hunting, his hunting skill will improve. And this is going to be important, I think. So even though it's not the objective animal, we're still going to give it a go. Wow, and he bolted. Not interested. I have a target right there. So. <laughs> Little glitch in the uh, keys, uh, but I reset it and in doing so scared the animal further away. It is late afternoon, so this is a prime deer area. I'm going to want to check the map just to know for sure. Not worried about you. You're so I was gonna hit you in the face. You, my friend, have a spear of mine. Oh, missed. Haha. <laughs> let's uh let's recover our spear. 
two of them. We're going to need them. And there it is. Late afternoon, you see the long shadows. Did he lay down? He dropped the spear, maybe. I don't see a little bugger. Whoa, two wooden spears. There's one over there. Uh, that's him. There he is. I see him. Okay. Let's recover our ammunition. And on to the target. We've got two good hits on him. Maybe three. I think it's two. And uh, we want to take him down. We want to finish this. We need the experience. Wow. A hammer. How about, how about an axe? We're going to run him down. He's not going far. That's right. Well done. Recovered our ammunition, got uh, some hunting experience, and we picked up a stick. Another quick look around, checking the map to see exactly where we are. This is good deer space. Okay, due west of uh, our burgeoning village. I suspect, so when we found the boar and the fox, we were over here. Remember, I was surprised that they were west of this creek. So, I think next time, tomorrow, we'll come over here and take a look around due south. It's, uh, I thought it said 18, yeah, 1832. Quick save. Our village is that way. Through the woods we go. We'll keep the spear out in case we get... Oh, I have to do a quick... I threw so many that uh, they came out of the auto slot. There we go. So we're just going to move quickly. But if we see a boar or a fox, we'll go after it. Do a little night work if need be. I don't think we'll see any. There's a boar. There's a boar right there. Really? He just stood there and waited for me to take it. Who is that? Another one. I'm going to get this animal. So don't mess with me. Get you too. This is why we got the broadleaf plantains, which we are going to consume immediately, unless uh... okay. There we go. Skin this boar. Hopefully, it did not interfere with me skinning the other one. Well, that was interesting. Um, we're going to get this spear. We're going to need it. And we're going to need, it's nighttime, the broadleaf plantain as well. Again, the spears can use them so rapidly that 
which way are we going? We're going east that way. Um, that they fell out of the auto equip slot. But I need these. Not a stick. I have a bag of something. Fertilizer? What's going on here? Broadleaf plantain. This will save my life. I thought I would need more of them in the winter time. I did not. But uh, you can see now how important they are. And it's interesting because I just sold a bunch of them, didn't I? All right, that's enough for now. Let's uh, head back to our village, which is that way. Uh, I don't think we'll be ambushed by wolves, so I'm not going to light my torch. I'm just going to move. Can't really see. That's okay. I'm still a little excited from that uh, boar festival that just happened. There we go. I'm aware that your ability to see what I can see is slightly reduced, but it is uh, it is night. Oh, look at the stars. We have meat to cook. Um, we have traps to check. We're going to check those real quickly. And then we'll move inside and take a look at what we have going on. Let's activate. So we got a rabbit. Bird trap. Three feathers and one meat. All right. Quick save. Let's head inside. Do some cooking. We're going to cook our <laughs> 17 meat. No, we're going to cook. Um, We'll keep another seven uh, and just throw them into the refrigerator chest right here. So uh, we paid taxes today and we had a successful hunt. I didn't think it was going to be successful, but it turned out accidentally to be so. Uh, I'm grateful for that. Um, there we go. Let's take a look in here. We're going to transfer the meat. Plenty of meat. Let's transfer this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, I think is going to be a slightly shorter episode. We're in a great spot. I'm, uh, I'm really pleased. 20 roasted meat. Look at that. Food for days. We've run uh, about 45 minutes. Uh, a little on the shorter side. But, I mean, check it out. We're, we're just, we're doing well. Uh, the journal says, hunt two more fox. Wait for further events for Unigost. Wait for the summer for Alwyn. So our focus remains fox. Um, and then just uh, working on the character, 231 out of 500 for uh, extraction. Hunting is 58 out of 250. All right. I thought that would be a little higher, to be honest. Uh, but we'll keep after it. Farming remains zero. We've done no farming. 74 out of 250 for diplomacy. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Getting close for survival. 917 out of 1,000. That is good. Um, and 173 out of 250. Close on crafting as well. So for survival, I think I'm interested in... Uh, Maybe solid as a rock, 10% less damage, if we have access to that. Um, 
If not, there's 10% more health. We'll figure it out. We'll see how we feel. But yeah, we're in a really good spot, and uh, I'm content with this. It's a slightly shorter episode, but that's okay. So very good start into the first day of spring. Rasamir is now 19. He survived for a year. We look at the map. We're pleased with where we're at. It's uh, 2112, 912. We'll go to sleep here shortly. Year number two, just a good spot. I think if we embark on anything else, it will take another uh, 45 minutes or an hour, which on occasion will do. But uh, tonight, this is perfect. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the adventures with uh, me, the Charlie One One, and our intrepid friend Rasimir as he establishes himself in this peaceful valley, this Central European valley. I will take a look at uh, ah, standing by the fire that's nice and warm. We'll wrap it up right here and call it a, uh, an evening. Let's save it. Do a deliberate save because that's the best way to do it. And wrap it up. Thanks again for joining me. This is the Charlie One One. Please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more adventures where uh, Rasimir is concerned, and I look forward to sharing them with you.